Hi Cancer, welcome to your weekly reading for April 27th to May 4th. I am Charlene and you are, who are you? Hello, hi. Cool. She's Raven. If you're new here, welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. I hope you click the subscribe button and become a part of our High Vibe community. If you're returning, a massive thank you to you for being a part of our High Vibe community. As always, I do need to give gratitude and adoration to my great Queen the Morgan, to whom all my work is devoted to. All right, let's get this party started, Cancer. The Eight of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the Moon. Wow, this full ma'am. What are you doing? No, Raven. Raven, off, please. Raven, off. Thank you. No, don't get upset with me. You know you're not allowed on that thing. I'm um, sorry, Cancer. One, two, three, four, five. Um, this full moon. I mean, it is in your sister, uh, in the sign of your sister, Scorpio. Um, so I'm not surprised uh, if you're watching this on the day of the full moon in Scorpio, which would be the Monday that this goes live. Um, write it, getting a piece of paper. Okay. Write down what you need to purge, write down what you need to heal, write down what, what you're still holding on to. Okay. Um, write down, um, what, and what you want in your life. Okay. And write down what's holding you back from going after what you want in your life. Okay. Because um, I, I really feel like, yeah, look at that. I feel like you're on the verge of uh, a really wonderful blessing, an opportunity. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Uh, a really beautiful opportunity, a blessing, um, the inception of, of something to rejoice about, something to celebrate, uh, especially around your career and your finances, honestly. Uh, I don't see love so much here, but I do see things that are creative, things that are passionate. Uh, cancer is creative. Um, and, and money, right? The King of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. Um, abundance wants to enter into your life, Cancer. So where are you stopping it from coming in? Some Leo, yeah, some of you might actually have like a Leo Midhaven or a Leo Rising. Um, I do get this energy that some of you um, might actually shine very bright or might be very attractive or might have a lot of success coming in your way, okay? Um, or just happen to have the, the energy of the sun kind of come in your way where, why did I do that? Sorry, that was the devil. Yeah, money, career, oh my God, yeah. Sorry, I'm gonna put that down. I don't know why I was doing that. Um, um, yeah, like the career aspect is really coming through very strong, but I think that uh, potentially you bound yourself or you block um, some of that abundance from coming in quite simply because of some limiting self-beliefs. So the card you got for the astrology is the sun. And then the mantra card you got is adversity. I accept that challenges are the best way to learn. All right, and that's actually a really good energy or mantra or perspective to have because it helps us to understand that in life, there are going to be easier times and there are going to be really difficult times and then there's going to be those times in between. But if we give energy to only the difficulty, then only the difficulty can enter into our life. Whereas if we come from a place of compassion, love, patience, kindness, understanding, where we come from this place of resiliency, understanding and knowing that anything that gives us, uh, that brings challenge or obstacle our way is meant to teach us something, uh, then we'll be able to see things from a different perspective, wouldn't we, Cancer? Now, the Eight of Swords, you're not stuck, okay? I always say this. Some of you are feeling very stagnant, stuck around your money. That's why I said write that list down because I really feel like it's a lot of stuff that you've got to dump. It's narratives, it's belief systems, the Eight of Swords and the King of Pentacles and the Moon, okay? It's almost like this full moon is going to illuminate where you block yourself from seeing abundance or from bringing in abundance, new opportunities, financial stability, wealth, whatever that looks like for you into your life. The moon is really going to force you to face your shadow aspects. And I don't know that it'll feel really good for you. Uh, there might be moments where you might feel very conflicted. You might feel very torn. You might feel like, why am I doing this right now? Or why am I having to deal with this right now? Like, it doesn't feel good. It doesn't feel comfortable. Um, but that's all for your growth and, and for you to learn. Scorpio is a water sign like you, Cancer. And Scorpio talks about transformation. It makes us look at our shit. And guess what, Cancer? 
your shit stinks, whether you want to accept it or not. All of ours does. And so if you start actually acknowledging where your shit might stink and where you could shift that or where you need to get rid of it because it's, you know, stinking up your whole room or whatever, the analogy, I'm, I don't even know where I'm going with this. But yeah, uh, um, if you start facing that, then you can get through it and you can be able to put it to, to rest, right? Basically use that poop and throw it in the garbage or flush it down the toilet or use it as manure for your garden outside. I don't know. Um, Justice and the page of wands. So gross. Why did I even go down that way? I don't know. Don't ask me. My bad deal. Um, the justice and the page of wands. The universe is really working together with you, Cancer, to welcome this into your life, okay? I truly feel like some of you are going to be offered some type of contract, some type of opportunity, a new business uh, opportunity, a new career role, um, a new position, um, or maybe there's going to be that lightning mo uh, what lightning bolt moment where you're like, aha, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. And, and, and what you do in that time is you're going to take that passion, that fire cancer, knowing that the universe has your back and that this is karma, balance, the universe bringing, restoring balance back into your life, justice, um, helping you. Okay. Um, with that, uh, Ace of Pentacles, this is all for your highest good. This is all for the abundance and the financial wealth and the opportunity that you <laughs> desire uh, coming into your life. This is the universe hearing the messages that you have said to it. Are you really going to try again? Girl. No. You can sit down. No, don't, don't, don't start with me. All right, the five of wands at the bottom are at the end, rather, of your reading. Don't compete with yourself. Don't try and force something. Get off, please. Don't try and force something to be that um, can't be. Also, just because it's a new opportunity doesn't mean you're not going to have to work for it, okay? Um, but also, don't fight for things that are just not aligning as well. That's a big message that's coming through here. Like, uh, you, uh, part of the reason why you may feel stuck, may feel bound, may feel limited is because you're trying to force something to be Cancer that's, that's not meant to be for you at this time, okay? All right, Cancer, let's see what's going on in your love life. Worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Ew. Um, for yourself, it's time to take back control of your life and call it in your soulmate. Oh, my God, Becky. Um, pay attention to the red flags at the bottom of the deck okay so obviously like where you may be self self-sabotaging hmm? where are you not welcoming love into your life when you say you want to are you for real get off that is rude you're not listening i don't like that i love you but i don't like that So when I see worth waiting for divine timing is at work in your love life, uh, I get this energy that a lot of you may have been single for a very long time. But um, I also want to add, not because you wanted to be single. Um, wait, sorry. Yes. Not because you... What? What am I trying to say? Sorry. You've been single because you wanted to be single, not the other way around, okay? You've been waiting. I feel like you're very picky, Cancer. I feel like you don't just date anybody. I feel like you're waiting for the right person. I feel like it's really important for you to find the right one. I feel like, you know, you may have had things, things with peoples, you know, the stuffs. Oh, my God, this word. Um, the stuffs with peoples. Um, and you may have, you know, uh, participated in the hanky panky with a lot of people. Um, but at the same time, you're not going to commit or uh, place a title or place a label um, or get serious with just anyone. You were really waiting here and you are waiting for the right person to come into your life. Well, one of the things that potentially is holding you back from being able to attract this divine partner of yours, okay, is... Um, the fact that you got the star and the king of wands, right? So when we see the star, I feel like you have all these hopes and dreams and wishes. Um, and the king of wands is very charismatic, charming. I get this energy that maybe, you know, again, going back to, I'm, I don't know why I'm getting this image of a guy. Okay. I'm just going to say how it is. If you're a guy watching this, this may be for you. Um, I'm getting this image of a guy or, you know, for some of you, it could be a girl who is just kind of, um, 
free spirit spirited when it comes to their love life who kind of you know has fun um you know has flings um maybe like has resistance to commitment but all of that is part of a coping mechanism that doesn't allow you to heal right because the star is all about healing um to heal in order to find the right partner, okay? Or in order to attract a partner that will give you the commitment or the type of relationship that you desire. You know, I think that there's a lot of, you have a lot of love to give. I think you're very fiery, I think you're very passionate. But again, the stars here, I just, it's almost like you overindulge, to be honest, um, in relationships or in connections rather, I should say, and then wonder why you haven't found a partner yet. And it's like, you're like, I'm like, it feels very like, I don't know, it feels very convoluted the more I, I pick up on this energy. Like you want to call in your soulmate, but then, or your divine partner, whatever you want to call it, but then you're having like one night stands with everybody. You are waiting for a relationship, but then you're like, I don't, I can't put a title on it. Like you want to have that person that's like your ride or die, the person that you hang out with all the time, but then you're like, no, I can't open the door for anybody or for love. I'm only going to date people that I know I can keep at arm's length, right? And so you got to walk away from that energy with that eight of cups, 11, 11, as I said that and call in your soulmate you gotta almost really focus on asking yourself what what it is about love that you desire what what is it about a relationship about a partner about connection that you want in this time in order for you to attract it and bring it in all right okay cancer that is your weekly reading thank you so much for your likes your comments your shares your subscribes thank you for booking private readings with me if you are interested in shopping over at star sea jewels and picking up your modern day am amulet take a look at the description box below i am wearing a few pieces i am teasing you with a new necklace that's coming out but anyways thank you so much as always for everything that you do we'll see you later alligator peace out bye